Hey guys, Silence here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. So this time round, surprisingly enough, Dana has planned the brand new Gacha that belongs to Ranka one day earlier before the event. I guess this is probably one of the rare few times that Dana has done something out of the norm, but it's okay. Um, we are here just to pull brand new episode plates from her gacha, hopefully. Hopefully, because the last video, I kind of used up my luck. I hope it doesn't end there, because, well, everyone knows Ranka is my waifu, so I am really, really wishing to at least try to get costume points for her costume. Uh, if not, maybe get a brand new episode plate, which it will be wonderful. And of course, unlock her costume this time round, even if I have to use episode orbs to do so. So let's take a look at the stats of the episode plate to see whether the episode plate itself is actually worthy of your attention or your singing stones and your physical cash if you are able to purchase singing stones. Alright, so let's take a look here. So no special notes attached to the episode plate, which is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Let's take a look at it and see whether the skills and the stats of the episode plate is worth your value. Alright, so 3859. Very good total score. So straight away, you can tell that Ranka's episode plate is going to be at least a tier 2. And of course, um, let's see whether the skills are of a decent, um, I would say, value. So, wow, center skill S rank. Star plates total boosted by 60% up. Uh, it is not the best percentage boost we've seen for a center skill. We've seen 90% before, but you know, still 60% is pretty high. And I guess since it's a yellow element plate, for me personally, I would definitely love to own this plate, not just because it belongs to Ranka, but I am lacking in the power. Um, or rather uh, arsenal value within the yellow star and the pink element um, episode sets. Uh, personally, if you guys have watched my last video, I've been talking about how my own collection is mostly all in the blue department. <laughs> so getting yellow plates and pink episode plates um, with good values and stats are uh, definitely a thing for me. Alright, so ah, active skill. It's for the high score purposes, so very very good episode plate for Ranka's center position collection. Ranka hasn't really been um, well known to be a center position diva, ends up most of the time she's supporting Cheryl, just like in the TV series and in the movies, Ranka doesn't really stand out on her own as much, except for that point of time where she had her own concert, you know, in the Macross uh, Frontier TV series and the movie uh, Sayonara no Tsubasa. So, alright, so life skill, well, B rank. So, we can really omit the life skill, it's not fantastic. It, it's, it does boost high score, but the 20% is kind of a, well, a not needed value to pay attention to. <laughs> so, guys, what I think about this episode play, I think. It is definitely worth your attention and your singing stones if you're a Ranka fan. Uh, but if you have yellow episode plates uh, that has better or similar total score as this one, uh, which also has a special note attached to it, maybe the note that boosts high score, the music note, um, the one with the yellow note. If you have episode plates that have that setup, definitely you might want to uh, skip on this gacha if you're just a hardcore player and are not focused on unlocking costumes and all that kind of stuff so sa save your singing stones but if you don't have anything as good as this i would definitely say invest your singing stones try to obtain ranka's brand new episode plate it's definitely uh episode plate worth to have in your collection and of course well, you don't want to miss out on the other three divas who are equipable with this episode plate. Surprisingly enough, Basara is able to equip it. So that's pretty interesting because Ranka doesn't have any features or personality traits that's similar to Basara. I don't know. So yeah, anyway guys, let's do this. One single template pool first. 
I suppose. Uh, then we'll see how uh, about pulling a second time, you know, because Ranka is my waifu, so we gotta put in the extra effort into it. So here we go. Oh, we do get some loading, but it didn't stay for long. So that's kind of a, uh, I would say, a bad predicament. Oh, we get a golden orb at the start, so that's pretty nice. But, you know, having signs like this doesn't mean that we'll get the brand new episode played. So we can still hope for something nice. Alright, skipping all the common stuff. Oh no, that worrying Ranka face. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Here we go, the rainbow box. Oh! It belongs to Ranka, but it's not her new plate. It's fine. I'm still happy. <laughs> okay, so let's see whether the red box evolves. I don't know. No evolution. That's okay. Oh! More duplicates for this Basara plate. So, oh, I don't have that episode played for Ranka, so that's not too bad of a thing. Alright, so this one belongs to it, this costume. So, alright, so I I think I can still afford to do a second pool. Uh, if you guys are still not familiar with how Dana has set up um, gachas for the first event of the month, well, all the costume that appears for the first event of the month are all behind a paid wall. Because, well, the first event of the month, the episode plates within that event, do not provide costume points for the divas uh, that are featured for that event. So this time around, we have Ranka and Cheryl with their Neko costumes, the Halloween Neko costumes. Both costumes are only obtainable through paid gacha. So if you're wondering what the episode plates uh, provided in the event, give costume points for well, every event for the first um, in the first event of each month, the episodes provided are all for Valkyrie uh, costume points. So that's kind of a bummer. So if you guys are fans of Ranka and Cheryl, you have to spend money to obtain their costumes. Oh, I just realized that the first pool did not have costume points for Ranka's costumes. So I have no choice. Let's do this, guys. The second round. <laughs> so hopefully the second round gives us something decent. You know, at least give me some costume points to unlock that costumes. We get a bit of loading bar there. So that's a good sign. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. No, four, five. Okay. Guess all my luck was really used up in the last video. Wow, three red boxes on the first blink. Ooh, we get a rainbow box, so that's pretty nice. No evolution on the plate. Okay, I do have this plate fully evolved, so that's not too bad. At least we start to unlock it. Secret boards. Oh no, that worrying plate again. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's. It's a pretty nice combo to have Ranka first, then Cheryl next, but... ah, oh. Okay. Okay, so guys, if you ever see that Ranka played with that worrying face before any of your awesome boxes, that's not a good sign. Oh dear lord. Okay, so at least we do get one episode played with the costume points for Ranka's uh, Neko costume. Oh, he evolves. Cheryl's evolves before Ranka's. Oh no. My account of Futa Macross, why are you doing this to me? I am not a Cheryl fan. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Okay, I, I am. I'm going to stop here. Getting costume points for Ranka's costume is all I wanted to do. I probably might end up using episode ops, you know, to unlock um, Ranka's Neko costume like I always do I end up doing when it comes to terrible luck. So, yeah. So this is the only plate that I have that belongs to a costume. I don't know, do I have enough episode ops? I probably will be able to unlock Ranka's costume. Um, yeah. But I don't know whether I'll have enough 
for the Cheryl's when her gacha comes around. So that's kind of a bummer. I would have loved to do a recording of uh, Neko Nikki with both Branka and Cheryl in their Neko costumes. But I guess it's not going to happen unless during Cheryl's gacha, <laughs> my luck turns around and I obtain Cheryl's episode plate. If not, I don't see that, that going to happen. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how did you guys do with your gacha pulls. And leave a like to this video if you appreciate the content and enjoy yourself watching me despair as usual <laughs> doing gacha pulls. Uh, share the video to all those who are still learning about Uta Macross or maybe just enjoy watching gacha videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel if not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next um, video. Uh, I'm gonna do the Pokemon Masters Scout video next because well, Hilda's gacha just uh, just dropped into the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that video soon. Bye!